All right, guys. So, how's everyone doing today? I did promise uh, a few of you guys that I would actually make an edging video. Uh, it's been a while since I actually made one, probably about last year. So, I guess this time of year, I'll do it for you guys. I'm just going to be edging the patio right here. It's very similar to uh, trimming the using the trimmer upside down, but I have a special machine for that. So, so I'm contemplating whether to not to use the BG55 or that home light blower. I'll probably use a home light blower. We'll see how it runs. And uh, tomorrow's video, I'm going to be cutting the grass with the uh, 10201, uh, which is all the way back there. My lovely FS70. I'm going to get an FS90R next uh, year with the Formix engine. Gotta love it. Oh, and everyone's asking me about this. This is an actual road retailer. Uh, this is a 5.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton by MTD. Yard machines. I'll do a cold start of it probably tomorrow or some other time. Alright, so here's the edger. It's a Black & Decker um, vintage one. I believe it's a 1985 model. So let me go set it up and, and we'll show you how I edge. But before I use it, we'll give you a little idea of what the specs are. So it is a model 822404, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 9 amps, spins at 5300 RPMs per minute, and it's a Type 5. <laughs> just look at that state of that electrical cord. Well, I just hope I don't get shocked. Alright, so reason why I'm not using this one because it's two prong and I need a three prong one. Alright. Can't use that one because it doesn't work. Second. Okay, so it's the concept of edging is very, very simple. Uh, as I explained earlier in the video, it's just the same way as uh, turning the trimmer upside down, but usually sometimes it doesn't really do a precise job. Especially with gas trimmers, you have more of a time uh, choking the engine and it's starting for fuel so this is why uh, these came to uh, exist so I think uh, Black & Decker still makes these models I'm pretty sure it's their Hedgehog lineup and uh, you can be you can buy them in gas or electric forms I tend to use electric and I don't really use it that often this is what the blade looks like of a typical lawn edger open up the door. Alrighty, so here's the mystery door. It's probably about a two inch depth. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a little mini lawnmower. So let's close the uh, door. Now, when you're edging, you always face the blade towards the grass, never on the patio. Because when that happens, that will um, create a lot of sparks, so it's not going to be good for your blade. So the best way to edge is to use a back and forth motion. So I'll demonstrate that. And as you can see, just look how precise that is. It gives a nice clean cut. Now I just have to move uh, this and continue. Here's actually what happens if you actually 
go too close to the patio. As I stress this enough, it's not a good idea to do that because that will tend to ruin your blade. So you definitely can see a big, big difference between the patio. See nice straight lines, nice and even. Have that way. So it's a pretty good machine. That's probably the best one here. All right, now it's time to clean the housing. Gee, that's a lot of dirt here. So all you do is just take a paint scraper like um, I used with my lawnmowers, you know, to, to clean the underside. And you just scrape away. And it's important to keep it very clean, especially with lawnmowers, because uh, they're not going to run as good as you would like. And done. Alright, so that's all done and cleaned. So now let's get to blowing off the patio. So uh, today we're going to attempt to use the Homelite ZR blower. This is a 1999. Uh, it was featured in my last uh, lawn equipment update video, which probably was about a month ago. I haven't really attempted to start it since. But uh, I guess we'll see how it goes and uh, see if it starts. And uh, maybe if, uh, if it doesn't start, maybe someone can give me some insight of how to get this one running without going to the repair shop, of course. Get some prime. Well, that has been used in about a month. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I guess in contrast we'll start the BG55 and see how that one running. Uh, last running about two hours ago, so it's a cold start. Yeah, cold. I'm using my 5277 as a tripod. Go this way, I'm not going to prime it. There you go. Sweet. So I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial video of how to edge and uh, start and run of the Homelite ZR blower and the BG55. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.